Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for January 28th through February 3rd. Um, as always, this will be a general reading for the week ahead. I'm going to be focusing on areas other than love in this reading. The love videos are going to be up in the next day or two for February. So if you're wanting a love video, uh, keep an eye out for that. Subscribe, hit notification, you'll get a notice when the love videos are posted in the next day or two. This is going to be about career, money, uh, growth, spirituality, uh, you know, relationships with family or friends. So we're going to go ahead and see what's coming up for Libra. And I'm going to pull one card from a different deck for like your soul, like your soul message card for the week. All right, so see here. Monday, Tuesday for Libra. Monday, Tuesday for Libra. Monday, Tuesday for Libra. Your Monday, Tuesday card doesn't want to pop out, Libra. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Okay, there's your Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday for Libra. Wednesday, Thursday for Libra. Sometimes when this happens and the cards don't want to pop out like they normally do, uh, there's like a big decision that maybe you're procrastinating on or that might be coming up. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alright, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday popped up pretty fast. But whatever's going on uh, the rest of the week, it might be... Um, you might be having a hard time deciding or making decisions, but let's see what is happening. Interesting energy with the deck coming in. So, your Monday, Tuesday is Seven of Pentacles. This is a card about lots of hard work, doing lots of hard work, and then um, taking a look at what you can do differently. Uh, sometimes it's taking a step back. Sometimes it's having to take a break. You know, you've, you've planted, you've done all the work there is to do, and maybe you've been putting a lot of energy into it, and it's time to just kind of relax and regroup and figure out what you want to do. For some of you, I'm feeling this has to do with having put a lot of energy into, um, like I'm hearing rescue, I'm hearing family, I'm hearing rescue, rescue family. Maybe some of you Libras have been feeling like you need to rescue uh, people in your family or you've been putting a lot of energy into <coughs> trying to help people be more positive or you've been putting a lot of pressure on yourself to do more financially and seven of pentacles is asking you to just take a step take a breath take some time and uh understand and realize that things take time that we have to be reasonable with our expectations how fast something can grow or, or or how much fruit a plant can give you know you can't give more than what you're giving at the moment many of you so this is asking you to just take a step back and and, and be reasonable and be realistic about that some of you are feeling like you've been working way too hard lately in general like um, it's not giving back what you had anticipated or what you had hoped. So some of you are beginning to look at, at different ways of doing things or different kinds of jobs or things maybe that you could apply for. You're just coming into an energy where you're telling the universe, you know, I don't mind working. I don't mind working. I, I, I don't mind, you know, showing up and, you know, day in and day out. But there has to be an easier way. There has to be an easier way. A lot of you had some awakening and um, in last week's reading, there was a lot of clarity coming to you guys or like, you know, real realizations or revelations. And so for a lot of you coming into this week, it's about, OK, how can I how can I rework this? How can I figure this out? You're beginning to see ways in which maybe uh, your energy would would be better applied you know, to different situations, different things, and you're wanting to come up with a new plan. You're wanting to come up with a new way of doing things. You're not wanting to have to, like, spin your wheels upside down. Your Wednesday, Thursday card, Libra, is the lovers, okay? Now, I did say that I was not going to be focusing on love in this reading, and now we have the lovers card coming up. So, 
it, this can be very much about love life for some of you. Maybe some of you are feeling like some relationships are way too much work and something else is coming in and it seems very tempting. You know, lover's card is really the real message behind a lover's card is having to make a choice. It's a choice. <coughs> Something is going to have to be decided and something is going to have to be sacrificed for something better. It's it's the whole principle of uh, quality over quantity sometimes. Um, but, you know, in love situations, it can definitely ha be having to reevaluate what is important to you in love life. And what are you looking for? Are you, are you looking for something very physical? Are you looking for something very in the moment are you looking for something more uh stable more committed um you know old versus new so in other areas of your life when you get the lover's card it's the same principle you're having to make a choice you're having to make a decision for some of you maybe you're making a realization that you you do want to focus more um on your love life or maybe some of you are having to to decide between uh I'm getting travel. Some of you are having to decide to take a big opportunity to travel. And you might feel like it's going to be disappointing somebody who maybe was hoping that things were going to go further. Or maybe you're disappointed. You're feeling like you have to decide between a really big work opportunity or a really big dream opportunity um, and staying with somebody. For some of you, that might be the case. Um, and a lot, of, you know, we'll see what's happening in the Libra love reading. Some of you may be in a little bit of a love triangle right now. <laughs> when you're having to make a choice or a decision on if you're wanting to stay or if it's worth the work. Um, so I think the main question here that I'm feeling intuitively, Libra, is some of you are going to be having to ask yourself, like, is my love life benefiting me? Is it bringing something valuable into my life? Or has it just become some distraction that's, you know, pulling me away from more important things or, or, or dreams or things that um, goals I've been setting for myself? Has my love life become an escape for me? you know, from, from, you know, actually doing the work or am I so distracted with what's going on with, you know, a relationship or people or things that, that it's getting in the way of me being able to, um, use my emotions in a healthy way or, um, you know, progress, make progress in my life. Sometimes that happens, like, for example, like if you had a, a really nasty breakup and then you go into work and you're really depressed and, you know, you haven't been sleeping and you just kind of want to cry and, you know, maybe the work is suffering, maybe you're not focused. And so a lot of you are going to have to make some decisions here about, you know, what is it time to let go of and, and for what else? Like, what are you letting go to make room for what? What are you trying to reach for? Something has to be cleared here in the energy, Libra. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card is Five of Cups. All right, so I, I feel like <coughs> you all had a lot of clarity coming into your energy last week. This week, you know, when we're coming, we're still coming in with that full blood moon energy, um, you know, you all are beginning to see the reality of the situation in your life and you're realizing it's time to take some certain actions or certain steps. You might not like some of them. Some of them might feel like I feel very disappointed because I had expectations that things were going to go in a different way. Okay. When five of cups comes up, however, five of cups wants you to know that things are not completely and totally a failure. It, the things are not lost. Sometimes it's the way we're looking at the situation. There is a blessing here that might be missed, or there is an opportunity here to fix the situation that might be missed. Um, for me, sometimes I feel Five of Cups could be really, really becoming um, negatively influenced by our emotions, like having a very emotional reaction to a situation and then being very convinced that things are hopeless and it's never going to work out and everything is terrible when things aren't that terrible. You know, it's just we're, we're reacting in a very emotional way. So I would say, Libra, some of you might be coming into this week 
preparing for your future and feeling a little bit emotional about things or feeling like there's certain aspects that you're not wanting to give up or there's certain things that you know you just feel like have have been too much work or it's been too hard and you're disappointed because you want a little bit more comfort that's coming in the universe is basically just showing you what you didn't realize was already robbing you of your joy and if you can trust that and go with that flow and move forward you can begin receiving the things that are going to bring you joy right it's it's things didn't all of a sudden change on you they've always been this way but you're becoming wiser your eyes are opening and you're seeing the truth of the situation you're saying oh wow i thought that this was a really great person for me to hang out with but i'm starting to realize that they're very draining or they're very negative or they're very toxic or i really thought this was a great relationship for me but i'm realizing that there's not much of a future here you know it, it, it was always that way you know you just didn't see it until now and now you're seeing the truth of the situation so that you can open your hands up for something much better that's going to bring you that happiness that you deserve to have okay we're going to check out the soul homework or soul growth card here and then afterwards i do have an announcement so if you're interested in that announcement you can stick around for after the reading but let's see what's going on for libra in the week ahead You guys like my classy little band-aid here. <laughs> I hope it's not too much of an eyesore. All right, let's see what's happening here with Libra. What is the soul homework for Libra? There it is. Let's check it out. Day and night. Okay. So this is about cycles and things coming to completion, right? And how both things are beneficial for us in different ways, right? The, the daytime is going to be great for us in that we're getting things done, we're getting out there, we're, we're being seen, we're having fun, we're having experiences. And the nighttime is great for us because it's giving us a chance to uh, rejuvenate and to rest. Also, if you're a spiritual person, you realize that the nighttime and when you sleep, even if you don't remember your dreams, you are receiving information, you are receiving guidance, you are um, connected with the spiritual realm in your sleep a lot of people don't realize that you know but um both of these things are are valid and and they're good they're good in their different ways and so it's seeing the gift and the things that are that are coming into us you know that the whole thing of like the darkness and the light you know um that they can be used in beneficial ways when used wisely and appropriately you know but this card can definitely be about uncertainty, you know, fear, worrying, decisions having to be made. And overall, the message here is following your instinct. So we see this girl and she's holding the sun in her hands while the moon is at her back. So she looks very uncertain about what's going on. She looks afraid, uh, maybe is struggling with finding answers or making decisions, right? But after the nighttime passes... The sun comes up, right? The light comes up. The clarity comes. The answer comes. So you might not know what to do right now in this moment, but the answer is coming. And we just have to give it time. What is not clear in the darkness, if we wait for light to be shined upon it, it will happen in its time and in its cycle. And right now, you guys are realizing and you're seeing things that need to be changed in your life. Some of you might be worried about it because you're like, I don't know how to do it. Or I don't know how to let go. Or I don't know how to make changes or, or, or where to go. The answers are coming. The answers are coming. And sometimes all we need to do is just kind of get out of that super emotional reaction and just be in our calm and give it some time and the answers come. The answers are already inside of you right now, right? We just need to let them surface. So Libra, I have to say that as long as you're not in that 
like panic energy and you can keep yourself calm and just realize you know and remind yourself like i said people didn't all of a sudden flip out at, on you a, a situation didn't all of a sudden change on you it's always been that way you're just finally seeing the truth of it and say okay you know tell yourself okay now i see the truth of this so i'm gonna see the answer the answer is coming i'm open to receiving the answer there's there's definitely an answer it's coming i'm open i'm calm i'm open to the answer and be in that faith so whatever's coming up in terms of like this uncertainty or this disappointment it doesn't have to be very deep it doesn't have to be long lasting it's the whole mind over matter situation okay i feel like you guys are on the cusp of really great things happening right now is just you know going through that that time of uh seeing what's not working so that changes can be made uh, it's not it's not a bad thing guys it's not a bad thing at all so we're gonna look here um at these lovely little crystals these blue and purple crystals so um this blue crystal is angelite and the purple one is amethyst amethyst and angelite uh i'm gonna start a crystal of the month club guys and so for the very very first month the crystal of the month for february is going to be angelite and since we're in aquarius season and i'm you know this is the first time we're doing crystal of the month i'm gonna give a free little amethyst too so for the february crystal of the month that you would get amethyst and angelite and anybody who signs up for the crystal of the month club you're going to receive information about the crystal what the metaphysical properties are and you're going to receive a crystal that's been charged cleansed and charged and filled with energy um i handle all of the crystals i'm going to be charging all of them with energy so it's it's a nice little crystal ready to go and you'll receive every single month a video message from me my face on camera talking to your beautiful face with whatever is coming up in the energy for the month for you personally it's for you personally what's kind of up in the month ahead what message is coming up for you and that will be every single month you would get a crystal and you get the message so it's going to be available through patreon and i'm going to do it at very very low cost i've sat down and i figured out how i can do it for like the lowest possible amount and still be able to continue buying crystals for the crystal of the month club and be able to ship them to people so um it will be announced uh this weekend everything will be set up this weekend and ready to go so if you do decide to do the crystal of the month club it would be very exciting and you guys could let me know you know like what kinds of things would you like to know more about crystals is it hard for you to find crystals in your area um are there certain crystals that you're curious about or what kind of crystals you might be interested in learning about because i love crystals and i want to help other people access them i know some people in some areas it's very difficult um you might not have a lot of shops that where you can just go pick up crystals and even then you're like well if i order them online i, I don't know what to order or I, I like to see them or I, I don't know which crystals to choose so i'm gonna be going through a lot of my favorites and a lot of ones that i really love working with and they are going to be in the crystal of the month club so let me know guys how you feel about that um, let me know if you have any questions about that. And overall, guys, it's really great getting to know a lot of you through the comments, um, through the private readings. Be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign video in case this video didn't resonate with you or you just want more information based on your specific energy with where your uh, where your chart is and you know where your planets are and all that good stuff. And you may need a private reading. So the contact info for private readings are in the description as well, guys. I'm going to get the love videos out in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.